Good evening and welcome to Eastern Michigan University's 61st Annual Alumni Awards. Once again, we are happy that you are tuning in with us tonight to celebrate and acknowledge this year's outstanding alumni. My name is Josh Landon, Fox 2 News anchor and graduate of the EMU class of 2006. It is an honor and privilege to be here at this institution that means so much to me and has played a significant role in my life. Standing here is a reminiscence of the good times and challenging times, the process toward earning my degree, the relationships built with friends and faculty, and the opportunities that were presented before me, all of which have prepared me for the work I do today. Tonight marks a momentous occasion where we welcome our alumni into a distinguished group of our brightest and best, those who have climbed the ladder of success, broken barriers, and immersed themselves in community, and all of which represent EMU as an institution of educational excellence. In a few minutes, you will hear from our Alumni Award winners about their experiences here at EMU. They have unique and inspiring stories to tell, and I know we're all excited to hear from them this evening. They represent a cross-section of industry leaders from higher education, sports management, human resources, and public administration. These individuals are the very best of our extensive alumni family as recognized by their peers. We are fortunate to have been a part of their journey and look forward to having shared memories to come. But before we hear from them, we have a special message from EMU's Office for Alumni Relations and the EMU Alumni Association. Welcome to the 61st Annual Alumni Awards Celebration. My name is Mia Milton, Interim Executive Director for Alumni Relations and Engagement and Class of 1996 and 2012. And my name is Trudy Adler, President of the EMU Alumni Association Board of Directors, Class of 2001. For 61 consecutive years, the university has honored the tradition of acknowledging first-class alumni through this special celebration. We are happy to return this year for another virtual celebration of our outstanding alumni. This video premiere allows us to reach our alumni and friends throughout the world in an effort to introduce you all to the Alumni Award recipients and our extended EMU family. We thank all of our viewers for their support of a successful video launch last year and hope that you will spread the word of this year's cohort. Today we come before you on behalf of all alumni and are proud to extend a round of applause to our exceptional awardees. They represent the diversity of not only our alumni population, but also our student body. As one of the most diverse public institutions in Michigan, we pride ourselves on creating an environment where all are welcome in order to foster a culture of inclusivity and excellence, which is at the core of our mission. Ranging in social and ethnic background, gender, age, and much more, we celebrate our recipients' individuality, their wins, their joy and passion, their drive, their ambition, and their challenges. All of these things have helped them rise to become the alumni we are so proud of. Blazing their own paths to success, one cannot underestimate the impact that EMU has had on their journey post-graduation. Today we demonstrate how proud we are of the experiences that Eastern Michigan University provides our students, how proud we are of who our students become, and how excited we are to celebrate their accomplishments in our combined future. And as alumni, we understand that this institution has been a place of opportunity. EMU encouraged us as students to try new things and explore the possibilities that prepared us for society. It is a joyous occasion when alumni come back home to connect with their roots, which is what the EMU Alumni Association is all about. Our mission is to promote pride, loyalty, and continuing support for the university among current and future alumni and the university community. As a part of that mission, it pleases me to extend a heartwarming congratulations on behalf of the EMU Alumni Association Board of Directors. We have, over the years, given these awards to 357 recipients. Our Alumni Award winners represent an alumni body of more than 180,000 graduates from all corners of the world. These graduates have gone on to do remarkable things from an executive level to a grassroots community level while also returning to the university to volunteer in various capacities as illustrated by our awardees, all of which help to promote university pride and continue a rich legacy that will never be forgotten. We salute you and give rise to all that you have accomplished and continue to accomplish. You represent the very best of Eastern Michigan University. This year, we will recognize eight individuals in four different categories, Outstanding Young Alumni Award, Alumni Achievement Award, 
Distinguished Alumni Award and the John W. Porter Distinguished Service Award. Our first to be recognized are the recipients for the Outstanding Young Alumni Award, Christopher Economeas and Wendell Farrell. The Outstanding Young Alumni Award recognizes our graduates whose achievements have been signified by personal honors bestowed upon them by their peers and who have demonstrated the worth of their education through their post-college achievements. Generally, recipients have been graduates of EMU for less than 10 years and younger than 35 years of age. My role with the Detroit Pistons as the Director of Community and Social Responsibility is pretty basic. Day to day we just look to plan out events for community outreach. I oversee a lot of the MBA CARES programming that we have. I also oversee like our health and wellness program, our STEAM and STEM initiatives as well. My job means the world to me. Being from Detroit and being able to go back into like the communities that I grew up in, playgrounds that I used to play ball at, rec centers, like all of those things, just makes it more meaningful to me. I actually am the oldest of three, so I never really had like a older sibling slash role model, but you know, my cousin played a really big part in my life growing up and he actually went to Eastern and uh, I went on a visit to see the campus. So he took me around and I got to kind of hang out with him for the day and, and see the McKenney Union and just really get a glimpse of like the college life and I really just fell in love with Eastern overall. I just, you know, I love the fact that it was close to home, didn't have to go too far away from my family and friends. Um, and then I also got to spend time with my cousin while I was up there, so. Honestly, I probably wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for EMU. I met lifelong friends there, 20 years or so worth of friendships. We kind of have like that friends TV show relationship where we've all been a part of each other's lives throughout the years. And on top of that, like, you know, the professors really did too. There was a time where, um, you know, I took time off from Eastern and I really wasn't sure like what direction I wanted to go in um, and if I even wanted to continue like on with degrees and, and you know, my, my higher education. But, you know, I actually met Doris Fields who um, had the biggest impact on me um, when it came to like the school side of my college experience. And, you know, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be sitting here today. You know, outside of like the education aspect, I, I really do look at like those lifelong friendships that were built. Um, that I would never have gotten if I, if I didn't attend Eastern. My time at Eastern, I spent a lot of time at the rec center um, playing intramural basketball. Uh, it was pretty much my second home and it kind of led me to where I'm at today working in professional sports and, and gaining kind of like the knowledge, being around some of the college athletes I and mean, just learning a little bit more about kind of the differences between like a quote unquote normal student compared to like a student athlete. Um, it kind of really helped along the way, especially when I wanted to figure out what I wanted to do for my professional career, and that ultimately led me into the, the sports field. My program being in communication was, was huge for where I'm at today because it just gave me the tools to where I could branch off into any department within this organization and be able to communicate with those folks and pick up on the things that they're doing just as well. So communication is it's such a broad but useful program. It was very integral in where I'm at today. Ultimately, I would, would love to oversee my own community relations department down the line. You know, that's something that I think would be huge for my career. And then from there, we'll kind of see, I mean, sports is forever changing, so the opportunities are endless. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see like what would open up down the line for me. Receiving this award means a lot. This is the first award that I've received in my professional career. Um, you know, I've received certificates of recognition from community organizations that I've worked with over the years, but um, to receive this award from my alma mater, it really does mean the world to me. Most importantly, I got to thank my parents, Mike and Carol. You know, they have always been an inspiration, um, hard workers. Um, they've always provided for our family. Um, they've made me the man I am today, to be honest. So I definitely wouldn't be here without them and their support throughout my college career. Um, and last but not least, I definitely have to thank my wife. She's my best friend. She's my biggest supporter. Um, without Danica in my life, uh, you know, I wouldn't have the motivation to, you know, keep going to the next level. I learned a lot of important things at Eastern Michigan University. I think the most important thing was to build a network that would sustain your career and build friendships that last a lifetime. I have teammates that I call my brothers. There are people I can call on the phone and I can come to their houses, be with their families. They'll come support me in my career. Being a student here, I never imagined that, but here I am 15 years later and still having those same friendships and bonds.
We would dance, we would hang out, we would joke. There were times where we'd be in the hill and we'd be cooking sausages and the smoke detector would come on. We'd have to evacuate the dorms. We'd just pray that we didn't burn down the hill. But just being what we call in the trenches with your brothers, that's in the locker room, those are in close games. That's when you confide in your teammates and your friends to know that I got your back no matter what. You know, those 40 minutes that you play on the four extend to 40 years in life. I know that the guys that will rebound for me, that will make shots for me, will do anything today in life for me. Being a student here, there were a lot of learning opportunities on campus. Keith Paul Jason was, was a big bridge for us as student athletes to invite us and challenge ourselves to get out of our network. There were like the Apollo events, um, the MLK day and week events. So we try to do our best as basketball players, not only to be identified in one area, but to also have that campus life to make us feel holistically like we are students here at Eastern Michigan. Being involved on campus helped me be a better leader because I got a, a view of what it's like to be a regular student understanding the grind, understanding how hard you have to work to get through four years of college or the jobs you may have to take to support your education. Now that I'm in a leadership position myself, it gives me the empathy for my student athletes to help them be better people themselves. Like you wanna understand the realms in which your student athletes are a part of and you want to enhance them. So when I'm a coach, I don't look at my players as just basketball players. Holistically, I look at them as students and try to understand each arena which I can make them better people to them so they can be better basketball players. I understand the importance of education and athletics and I don't think they're mutually exclusive of each other but you can bridge the two to make a really good student athlete. The culture at Eastern Michigan is unlike other universities. I feel like it's more intimate. A lot of schools you kind of get overlooked in the masses. Here I had a connection with everybody on every level and I think that's followed me into my career still today. The people here definitely shape and form you for life moving forward but continue to do so as you move forward. My personal mission statement is give more, take less. As a young person, I think it's important that we dive into our communities, our local congregations, the institutions that we work in. I think if we all pour into each other, our cups would be a lot more filled. Two pieces of advice I'll give the current freshmen. First, give yourself some grace. The four years or five years you may be here will not always be easy. When you're going through your studies and your social life that you have to give yourself time to grow into the person you wanna be. You're not always gonna have to figure it out your freshman year. And I, the second piece is you have to work toward the person you wanna be. Things don't always come to you. You have to go reach those things. Be a part of the Eastern Michigan network and community. I never thought coming here that I would get recognized for anything because I came here to serve the institution and in return it served me. It put scholarship dollars in my pocket. It gave me an opportunity to get a really good job and career, which ultimately has led to a pretty good life. I'm thankful to get honored, but even more grateful that this institution has recognized me as a young alumni. And I hope that one day I can write a letter of recommendation for the next one. There are a lot of people I want to thank. I'll start with Coach Charles Ramsey. He is the first person to award me a scholarship. He came into my house, spoke with my mother, spoke with my sister, spoke with my niece, and painted a vision who I could be as a young man and I'm always gonna be indebted and grateful for that. I wanna thank Coach Thomas, CT, that's my man, that's my, that's my big brother. He is the first person to get on the phone with me and kinda of describe what it's like to be a student athlete at Eastern Michigan because he was a great one himself. I wanna thank the administrators. Dr. Gregg was a good influence for me. Uh, Dr. Broughton was really another good influence for myself as well. And then I wanna thank all my coaches and my teammates. Those are my brothers. Those are the people that today that I still rely on to get advice. There are people that I want to model when I become a father. There are people that I trust or people that I love. The EMU Alumni Achievement Award has two recipients, Nicolay Basin and Dr. Harant Harachian. This award category is given to alumni who have achieved distinction in their chosen field, clearly demonstrated the value of their college education and maintained a continuing interest in Eastern Michigan University. Generally, recipients have been graduates of EMU for 10 to 25 years. At the Great Lakes Water Authority, I am the Chief Financial Officer and Treasurer. My job is really to be a strategic leader to ensure that our team members who provide frontline service on a daily basis, as well as all of us who support them in doing that, have the resources that they need. To provide context, the Great Lakes Water Authority serves nearly 40% of the state's population, or 4 million people, with water of unquestionable quality. All of that takes a lot of people with a lot of different disciplines, and it's how we work together to achieve those goals that enables us to work in many different areas and topics because we have to understand what each other does in order to be collectively successful. What I'm most proud of is the day-to-day -day interaction that I have with my team members and those that we serve. I'm in a position to be able to interact with so many different people and to be a resource 
uh, to move the organization forward as well as the region. I chose Eastern Michigan University because the reputation of the Masters in Public Administration program is very strong, not just within Michigan, but across the country. In particular, Dr. Joseph Oren, who was the program leader at the time, was known for his expertise in community engagement, which was something that really um, is part of what inspired me to go into the public sector. They really helped me and helped the other students develop a curriculum that best met their needs to be successful. I am very fortunate to also be involved uh, at EMU with the Masters in Public Administration Advisory Board. Just last week, we had a networking event that was held via Zoom with the students. And you might call that giving back, but I really call it receiving. The interaction that I had with the students just really recharged um, my mission uh, to move forward and uh, was a very rewarding opportunity. My hope for the future for Eastern Michigan University is that they continue to do all the great things that they have been doing. Sometimes we can take success for granted, and it doesn't happen by accident. It happens with a secret mix of something that comes together. At Eastern Michigan University, for me, I see the success of a strong administration who's forward thinking, of the faculty who is dedicated to research, but also very invested in their students. And I never dreamed that being at EMU, earning my master's degree, would put me in a position to be able to be part of something so much larger than I ever could have imagined. Receiving this alumni award is so important to me. I am so proud, so honored. And while the award might have my name on it, it is an award that goes to all of us at the Great Lakes Water Authority. There are accomplishments of a great team of people that I get to work with. So I'm really excited to be able to share this award with them. If I were to thank one person for the success that I had, it would be my husband of over 30 years, Doug Bateson. It was because of him that I was able to take a mid-career break and immerse myself in studies full-time at Eastern Michigan University. Uh, that meant I was often working 24-7 on papers and research, and he was always there to keep the household going, take care of our family members. I just can't thank him enough for his never-ending support during my time at EMU and well beyond. So I ended up at Eastern almost by accident. I had applied to a few different universities as a senior in high school. My mom, who at the time was a teacher, encouraged me to come and see the campus. And we drove by, pulled up by McKinney Union, which was then the Union, walked out the back, and I just fell in love with the campus. It just felt right. And everything after that was a straight path. I didn't even consider any of the campuses I had applied to. It was Eastern or Bust. Once I got here, the whole experience, the whole campus just, just lifted us up. Currently, I'm a professor at the University of California, Merced, and I also serve as the chair of the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. I have a research lab with five graduate students and a couple of undergraduate students as well, driving a research program in theoretical chemistry. I'm a specialist in quantum mechanics, and we bring students in as academics. We help them grow, and we try to get them prepared to leave the university and go out and do great things. Eastern did that for me and the thing that makes me most proud in my day-to-day -day work is when I get to do that with our students. And then when I wear my hat as department chair, I'm sort of balancing the needs of faculty and students in our department, as well as the departments we serve, students say in biology or in some of our engineering schools that depend on our courses as well. And um, my day-to-day -day goal is to just advance all of those constituencies in whatever way I can. So there were a number of impactful people on this campus, the most impactful of whom was Maria Maletti, um, who was my undergraduate research advisor. I started working with her and sort of learning the ropes of what it meant to do computational chemistry, which is the field I'm in now, at the end of my freshman year, and I worked with her through my entire time here. Ross Nord, who was one of the faculty at the time, I learned a lot from him. In fact, I model almost all of the structure of my lectures today and the way that he taught. Wade Tornquist and Arthur Howard and Tim Brewer and Steve Brewer, all these folks in the Department of Chemistry were hugely influential. Bill Miller in the Honors Program, and 
Brian Fitzgerald, who I did a lot of work with in housing uh, as an RA, between all of them, I, I learned a lot. So receiving this award is actually um, pretty surprising. I'm, uh, first, I'm honored, I'm thrilled uh, to have a chance to come back to campus. It feels a little surreal. I think a lot about all that Eastern gave me, and this feels like something else that they've given me, and I'm not quite sure I'm deserving, but I appreciate it quite a lot. So my personal mission statement is to be grateful for what I get and what's been given to me and to try to give back at least as much as I've received and to do whatever we can to open doors for other people. In my work today at the University of California, I take to heart our role in higher education to serve as an engine for social mobility. Once you have the opportunities that I've had that really took me down pathways and through doorways that Eastern opened, um, it means a lot to have an opportunity to come back to campus to come back and see students in the research symposium um, and just to engage with the campus a little bit and help out any way I can. So the career advice I give to a graduating senior at Eastern Michigan is to just keep doors open and just keep your eyes open because the best thing that could happen downstream is probably something you would have never dreamt of yesterday. So outside of work, my greatest achievement is my family. My kids are amazing. I've got four daughters. Every day they do things that just uh, you know surprise me and and really enlighten us to all the new things they're going to do and my wife who's also an alum of the university michelle and i just um, i think that's the best thing we've ever done is to is to have those four girls do the things we do with them eastern michigan's distinguished alumni award is given to alumni who have achieved extraordinary distinction in their chosen field demonstrated unusual service to others, and maintained a continuing interest in Eastern Michigan University. Generally, recipients have been graduates of EMU for more than 25 years. Tonight, we honor Dr. Sandra Harris and Dr. David Turner. I chose Eastern Michigan University because it was known as a teacher's university and I have always wanted to be a teacher, and so there was no doubt in my mind that this is where I would go. And I just absolutely loved being here. I found it to be a very student-friendly university. When I was a student here at Eastern Michigan University in the, in the undergraduate program, uh, I lived on the hill and I loved it. We had our own dining facilities up there and everything, so to come down from the hill, to go to classes, that gave me an opportunity to interact with other students. It really gave me a true sense of campus life. That sense of community, the culture that was here when I was a student here, it is still here now. And because I had such a wonderful experience, as an undergraduate student, there was no doubt in my mind that I would not come back here and, and work on my advanced degrees. I loved the faculty and it was just a, a, an amazing experience and it was something, I, it is something that I would do all over again. I joined a sorority when I was a student here at Eastern Michigan University. I am still active with the alumni chapter of that sorority, Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I have served in leadership positions in that chapter um, from treasurer on up to president. The two people that had the greatest impact on me, one was a professor. Her name was Norma Jean Anderson. And then the other was my academic advisor, uh, Dr. Rose Wingo. And she too had a powerful impact on me. The thing about these two ladies were they were perfectionists. They always had to have everything done just right. And that's the way I was trained. That's the way I am. So having come through the educational leadership department here at Eastern Michigan University, it was an honor for me to come back to this university and be an adjunct professor, All right, especially in the department of which I had come through. Those were students who wanted to go into the field of education, and so because I had done that, that was just, that was just magnificent. Teaching education, that is not like a career or a job for me. That is truly my calling, and it has been a wonderful experience. To be successful, I feel that you have to treat people the way that you want to be treated. You have to be compassionate, you have to be understanding, you have to know how to build relationships. 
that's what makes people, that's what makes a successful leader. You can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't know how to get along with people, if you can't respect other people, then you're not going to be successful. I put a lot into the university and I feel that it has helped to make me the success that I am today. This is a, an award that I will always cherish. To know that an institution that I think so highly of also thinks highly of me. I would have to thank God because uh, I know that without him I could be nothing or do nothing. I would owe thanks to my parents. They encouraged me to you know, go to school and make something of my life. I love to talk about my humble background. I'm a little girl from the you know, coal mines and hills of West Virginia. Who would have ever thought that I would get to this point? I want to be a message to other young people that it is possible for you to do these things. My choice to attend Eastern Michigan University was quite simple. I was a track athlete when I came up and Eastern was the premier athletic uh, program for track and field. Uh, quickly realized that, you know, high school probably was where I had my uh, shining moment and uh, as I stepped away from the track program, I was able to just really fall into the robust and rigorous academic programs that the college offers as well. So we had a good balance between track and field and you know academics so I became a student a strong student and I owe that all to the dedication and the fortitude that came through track and field so this is a good blend there oh, Eastern Michigan University impacted my entire life I met my spouse at Eastern Michigan University oh 30 years ago so it's responsible for the creation of my family uh, my career I give completely to uh, the, the faculty and the professors that prepared me to be in this field that I'm in human resources I left EMU in 94 and I was able to come back in 2014 and serve as its first vice president of human resources for the entire campus uh, that was a great opportunity to return and serve the community and campus that had given me the talent to actually come back and do the role in a professional aspect. The things that I've done to give back, I've participated in multiple black alumni events. It's the Brotherhood and Sisterhood Initiative where there's mentoring programs that I've participated in as a professional and, and as a, a non-professional. The, the track and field program has been uh, awesome to both serve as an athlete but now as a donor and contributing a donor to the track program under Bob Parks when I was there. His daughter's carrying on a torch. Just an awesome program. It was actually a great program at the uh, College of Business when they provided opportunities for the alumni to come back and speak to prospective students as they're uh, matriculating through the program. It was a great opportunity for me to talk to students about uh, the, the impacts of communication, the impact of networking. You got a chance to meet and develop a network with these great prospective students as they come through. But they also got a chance to experience uh, through our lens and through our eyes what we actually went through and how so many things are uh, not that dissimilar. You know, just time has passed, but some of the same challenges were there, some of the same opportunities were there. And I think it was a good opportunity for the more seasoned individuals to come back and see what the new life was looking like as they moved through. So with leadership and what it takes to be a great leader and what characteristics a leader should have, you need to have character, you need to have integrity, you need to have purpose. You know, leadership should be about service. I'm a service-minded individual. I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and one of our tenets is about service. Uh, uh, then integrity. Integrity, you, you have to be consistent. You have to be uh, who you say you're going to be all of the time. And the last thing is purpose. If you haven't established your purpose in life, you know, go to Eastern and you'll find a purpose, I promise you. Mine, mine happened to be in, in business administration and human resources specifically, and that helped chart my path, and that's where I am. First and foremost, I want to thank my mother. Uh, she's not here. I lost her uh, this last past April. If it wasn't for her pushing, I wouldn't be at Eastern. She was more important to me than pretty much anybody else. Now, that drive she gave me was absolutely amplified by the faculty on the campus. In, in particular, Dr. Ron Woods, Dr. Freya Wagner Marsh, thank you for introducing me into this world of human resources and what you've done for the other students that have come through Eastern Michigan as well. I'm thankful for Dr. Smith and, and Dr. Connie Smith as well. Uh, and, and then I'm just thankful for all of the students that trust you know, Eastern to get them to where they are. Receiving this award is you know, it's one of the most humbling accolades I've received. This means the world to me. You know, at a time when you know, folks are still scrambling to get back on their feet. 
and the impacts of this, you know, worldwide pandemic is, is far and vast reaching. Just a moment of celebration is, is great. And to have it from your university for the things that you've done that they're actually responsible for, it's just a great turnaround for me. Lastly, the John W. Porter Distinguished Service Award is presented to individuals who have made an outstanding contribution to Eastern Michigan University or the MU Alumni Association. Recipients need not be graduates of Eastern Michigan University. This year's recipients are emeritus faculty and longtime EMU supporters, Drs. Karen and Michael Pasorek. Coming to EMU, uh, I was offered a position here back in 1981, and Karen and I had both finished up our doctoral degrees, and so we were looking for the best job with the most opportunity for the other person. I think our goal was, what, three to five years. We're both from the East Coast, you know, initial job and all that, and, and as it worked out, uh, we ended up staying 40 years. We uh, just got involved. We served on committees across campus. We both won the uh, Ron Collins Award for service to the university and enjoyed our time getting to know people and we benefited from learning from others. And since retirement Karen has had, she still continues a more direct role uh, on the foundation board and women in philanthropy. I look at myself as an ambassador for the university and so everywhere we go we wear our Eastern stuff and we definitely uh, bump into people who have connections to the university so that's been really a, a lot of fun as well. The most important skill to work in our field, really almost any field, is the ability to develop relationships. You have to be willing to make connections with people, especially in a university setting. There's some new research out about the importance of students feeling connected to one other person at that campus that they can feel makes an impact on them and their lives. Having empathy for our students as well. Our students come from all different backgrounds and they're, they're challenged because of their, they're so busy. Many of them are, are working so that they can just go to college. Some of them have families with young children and their time is very limited in understanding where they're coming from and trying to make sure that they get the most out of classes despite their busy schedules I think is important for us as educators. Our influence uh, on the way of the world, so to speak, is uh, one student at a time. We know that they are going to go out, and if they are exceptional teachers, and if we have impacted them, they are also going to influence thousands of, of young students as well, and so it just multiplies. I have former students now in China and Africa and the Middle East, and that is spreading Eastern Michigan's knowledge around the world and impacting in so many different classrooms. When Michael and I were first hired at Eastern Michigan University, the president was John Porter. And this award means so much to us because we got to know President Porter early in our career. We talk about relationships and, and teamwork here at Eastern Michigan. Probably the, the greatest team member that I have had has been Karen. And being able to receive this award with my wife, I think, is, is really pretty special because you know, we, every night, the little pillow talk, talking about what's going on on campus, um, the challenges that we've had raising two young kids and the, the five o'clock pass off in the drive where I'm rushing home uh, so that Karen can get in to teach grad classes and she's handing me the, you know, the, the little baby and she's, she's shooting on into campus. So um, the, the, the way that we have supported each other over the years and being able to, to be recognized together, I think is, is important. I want to thank um, for this award the people that nominated me, but I also would like to thank all the people that I've worked with throughout the years that support the work at the university, the foundation staff, and other fellow trustees. And mainly, I'd like to thank my former students. Oh, I will probably get teary-eyed, but just the message that, the reinforcement that they gave me, teaching that they were enjoying the classes and they were benefiting and I knew that when they went out that meant something what they learned here. Uh, I really like to thank Dr. Pat Cavanaugh uh, who passed away a number of years ago. He's my first department head and he took a chance in hiring me when I was a very young uh, faculty member and gave me a lot of responsibilities, made me program chair after just a couple of years. I'm afraid we're going to leave out people. There are so many, yeah, so many you know, that we could recognize. It's, it's hard to name everybody. Yeah, we just are so honored and so touched. It means so much. Um, 
to us and we appreciate everything. Congratulations to our 2022 Alumni Award recipients. This has been a phenomenal evening to honor and acknowledge our alumni of excellence. The success they have attained in their personal and professional lives is inspiring. They are true ambassadors. This impressive cohort of Alumni Award recipients illustrate the very best of Eastern Michigan University. They all hail from various colleges and fields of study with a wide range of experiences that enhance their professional and personal lives. Their contributions to the community at large are invaluable and reflect the reputation of this great university. The foundation that we are providing for our students allows them to go out into the world and make an impact, much like what you see with tonight's winners. Not only is their involvement in the greater community important, but also within the EMU community as well. Their continued engagement and connection to the institution is necessary. Alumni are our ambassadors, our advocates, our recruiters, our volunteers, and our sounding board advising us on what's happening in industries, communities, and the world around us. They bring their expertise and experience, which is beneficial to our students, faculty, and staff. We want them to be the lifelong partners in building a better campus and a better community. As we collectively work to provide an outstanding experience for all of our students, as we help them excel in their educational and personal journeys. As part of our tradition with these awards, tonight's recipients will receive a resolution from Eastern Michigan University's Board of Regents, acknowledging their remarkable distinction in their chosen fields and their tremendous contributions to EMU. They also will receive a Golden Eagle Feather Pin. The eagle has long served as a symbol of pride and stands for our tradition of excellence. We're proud of their accomplishments and of their continued support of Eastern Michigan University. I want to take this opportunity to express that we are incredibly proud of our recipients and all they have done. Congratulations for your achievements. We ask that you give rise to the 2022 Alumni Award recipients for this 61st Annual Alumni Awards. Christopher Economeus, Wendale Farrow, Nicolette Bateson, Dr. Harant Harachian, Dr. Sandra Harris, Dr. David Turner, and Drs. Karen and Michael Pachorek. You are the brave, the dreamers, the doers, the innovators, and the trailblazers. As we approach the end of this year's celebration, I'm reminded how the experiences of our award recipients as students help to shape their success as graduates. We want to continue to provide unique opportunities to our students and depend on you, everyone watching tonight, and those who will view this in the future for support. Give Rise, the campaign for Eastern Michigan University has continued to generate a tremendous response from our alumni, donors, and friends who have helped support opportunities for our students. With a $100 million goal, we have made significant progress, but still we need your help. Please join us in an effort to reach our goal. You can help by encouraging others to give. It is evidence of how highly our university is regarded by our many constituents and also a testament to the important role each of you plays in helping us reach our ultimate objective. We are energized and excited about the positive momentum and success we will achieve together. We thank you and encourage our community to continue giving toward the future of Eastern Michigan University. Thank you, President Smith. What an exceptional evening. I hope that you've learned a lot about our shining stars. Thank you all for joining us this evening to recognize these very deserving award recipients. Again, it has been an honor to present these awards tonight, and I hope that we can all be proud of the wonderful things MU alumni are doing in the world around us. Tonight was a representation of those wonderful things which embody what we expect from our graduates, and that is excellence. We will see you again next year. Thank you again for joining us, and have a wonderful evening.